Jenna, you're first. <laughs> Hello. Mm. It's not that weird. Everybody's looking for a, a new cow, let's say, and uh, he found one over on our channel. <laughs> So the notice are working. Do you love the sound of rain, green grapes? Verdi. Um, Ruins of coolness, Mimi. Hi, Energy. Jenny Arp, Marbles, Jam Jam. Sweet love. <laughs> Hello, Verdi. Oh, yeah. She's a whole ass mess. Her face, I don't know if it's CPAP marks or what it is, but she's not looking too hot. And uh, just sidebar, did you guys see the... Um, what do you call it? community tab post or whatever it is that Dee Dee had put? I don't think it's a community tab post. It's like a comment on a video, you know, fucking Dee Dee made some stupid ass little video. I don't even want to give them too much attention. Okay. But she's now they're They're threatening defamation against fucking reaction channels and stuff. Ugh, what a wreck. What a mess. So that drama was going on last night. You know that this one is all over anything to, that goes on with the crackheads and stuff. So she was probably up all night, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, absolutely. Frenchie, my dog is 16 and a half. Wow, 16 and a half birthday. Can you yell at him to live many more years? I don't want to yell too loud. Bailey? Bailey, happy birthday, Bailey. Live many, many years, Bailey. Babe, thank you. <laughs> Brenda, Stephanie Reyes, Nicolina, Salam alaikum, Lisa P, Zoe, Silvayel. Hello. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you, babe. Tangerine, Big Dot, Bepis. Hi, Nelly. Tian Moonshine. Hello. Gwen, hello. Hi, Ava. Hello, Beezer. Fernanda, hi. Just Beezin. It's just Miriam is alive, that's all. Welcome, Salam, Sanella. Happy Wednesday. Oh, yeah, it is. Hey, Anna, Sophia. Sabah al khair. Masah al khair. Sabah al khair. <laughs> I hate when she streams in that uh, hoodie, that hoodie thing. I hate that hoodie with a passion. Just <laughs> behind here. I don't say this right. <laughs> Sarah Jean, welcome, Salam. Cassidy, Victoria, Lisa P. Hi, Angel's Beauty. I am not going now. I did a video about how I changed my mind. Look at that pronunciation. <laughs> Rylan, thank you. My sleep schedule, yeah, yeah, of course. <sighs> I think my CPAP marks are almost gone. Hi, Kim Richards, creepy comfort, hello. What's going on? Well, some people don't seem to care at all about animal abuse, about anti-Semitism, about uh, a racist, bigoted schmuck, uh, homophobia. No, some people, they're not bothered. They think she's awesome. Welcome, salam, little doll. Habib T. <laughs> oh, hello, Olga. Yes, it is me. Thanks, Tian. You said hi to me twice. You are special. Ew, no fucking way. Let her shmee buy her one for her birthday. Hey, cutie, we're going to get you a new hoodie. Let's go to Maurice's. I'll take you out for lunch, too, cutie, don't you know? I'm doing okay, Ageless Beauty. How are you? Baking and cooking with Georgia. Thank you. Can you make, you're from Italy and you bake. Can you make cannoli? <laughs> That's my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, Cassidy, I'm feeling mentally a bit better today, yeah. You know, I feel better that I've made like a final decision and I don't have to worry about these, you know. I can settle in, I'm gonna try to find things, you know, to do here, maybe take some Quran study, maybe take some Arabic lessons. Um, yeah, she's made a final decision until the next fight. And then the next fight she can come out again and, guys, guys, I changed my mind. I just need to go back to Canada. It's for my health. Um, Thanks, Fernanda, we're gonna see. But, you know, I don't know. Ramadan's around the corner. I'm pretty excited for that. And um, I'm excited also to bring you contents. So, yes. Excuse me, miss. Yes, I'm here to, to break up your board more increase it. I don't know which. Hello, Yema. Yeah, I feel happier today. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. My eyes and my cat. Oh, I got to stop hugging and kissing my cat. <sighs> Thank you. Well, you got to clean your home. You have a pet, you have dander, you have fur, you have all kinds of things. You got to clean your home. You got to turn the air conditioner off every once in a while and crack a window open. Ew. Tell me a bedtime story. <laughs> uh, I know, Angel's Beauty. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. I know what that's like. I just came out of a rough patch. 
No, Zoe, it had nothing to do with Salah um, or anything like that. I, I honestly, it's um, just always conflicted between both worlds. That's all, you know. <laughs> Shut up conflicted between both worlds it's just like remember back with koki when it was like she had her two residences and she felt pushed and or like pulled in both direction because the cats and then the cracket mm, you know that's what life is like when you have two residences or when you're you know uh, stuck between two worlds it's just it's so stupid. You're not some fucking like Disney character or whatever. You're some desperate fat ass who went to the other side of the world because you found someone equally desperate to fake marry you. <sighs> Joke's on you, bitch. He wants papers. You can't give him those. Yes, I am, Stanella. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. I can't wait. Cannoli cake. <gasps> what? Imagine cannoli cheesecake. Hi, Z. Thank you, Angelus Beauty. I hope you do too soon. Thanks, creepy. No, it's a hood. I have an undercat, but I need to go shopping. I mean, I wanted to go today to, to go to look at some uh, hijabs, and make like a vlog of going out shopping, but like, I can't, I can't get my sleeping under control and. But hold on, wait, wait, wait. Cause yesterday you promised that today you were gonna do lots of things. Everybody remember we were promised a video of them doing lots of things or her, I should say doing lots of things. There was gonna be lots of things today. There was no fucking things. She slept all day as usual, rolled out of bed with the CPAP marks on her face, went live instead of going out to make a, like a video, and is probably going to order some food and go back to bed after, you know, searching her own name on YouTube for a few hours. Yeah, I just wasn't feeling good. Like, I don't know. Hello, Capricorn. Hello. Kitty Charms. Hello. Yeah, let's just all bees. Yes, babe. I'm excited for Ramadan. Second Ramadan with you. I've been here since the BB era. Love just to Thank you. Excuse me, miss. I'm glad you enjoy. It is normal, I think. You know, I think I realize that, but I feel so bad. Like, you know, daddy, a DFS. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <laughs> uh, no, it was always, but the doctor never ordered any for me. So we'll see. Hi, Kiki. I look like sandworm. <laughs> uh, MRI bees. Hi, Caroline. You love Jersey. Here. I find a Jersey are like more comfortable. But I find like, yeah, she looks especially awful today because she literally just woke up. The CPAP marks are still on her face. She doesn't even like wake up. Go fucking wash your face, man. Go splash some water on your goddamn face. Something. Nope. Nothing. She just, this is this is how she woke up. Like, um, no, I, the Jersey ones are more, most comfortable. The chiffon ones, I find, I like how they look more, but they're not. I find they slip if you don't like tack them in place. You know. Hey, Charles Reed. Nice camo. Yum, dirty. Cannoli cake has cannoli filling as the icing. Yeah, I know, Ageless. Like spaghetti meatballs, mashallah. Yeah. Depression is physically exhausting on your body, you know? And I see a lot of mental health shaming, like so much of it. Like you're just lazy. Oh my gosh, you have to do this, you have to do that. I agree though. Like it's so, it's almost impossible to do it when you're feeling super exhausted. But oh, it's like, I kind of feel like I have to try to push myself to do things. And then, you know what? I Go fuck yourself in a big, big way. Mental health shaming. Of course it was going to be mental health shaming. We knew she would have to call it mental health shaming. It's not mental health shaming. You are just lazy. You are. Okay. You do have mental problems. Nobody's denying that, but you don't want to go and get help for them. So don't sit there and call it mental health shaming. You're about to be 40 years old. You're a lazy motherfucker who does nothing all day. Either get yourself help or shut the fuck up about your mentals, okay? No one cares. And yeah, we're going to have hella comments about it. It's not mental health shaming. It's lazy shaming. It's uh, the unwillingness to get yourself help shaming. How's that? What I mean, like, it's my second Ramadan already. Hi, just eight. There's so many salons. Yes. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. Kiki. Ki, ki. I didn't decide. Uh, no. Tian Moonshine. Do they sell linen ones? Um, I don't know. Yeah. It's exhausting. Um, hey, Ghostface. Salam alaikum. Getting out does make me feel better, but I just can't do it sometimes. I feel, hi, Heather, when I'm really exhausted from just being so depressed. And I know bed rotting is not healthy either. That's where I say I have to force myself. But like, you have to go through before you feel better. You have to feel worse. It's like, do you know what I mean? You have to be. 
but you said like four sentences ago that you were just out of your depressive state. If you're out of the depressive state, what's keeping you inside? If not, you know, the laziness. You just said that you're feeling better. You just said you're out of that state. What is the excuse then for not going out right now? You just fucked yourself over with your own stupid mouth. If it's not the depression, which you just said you're somewhat out of now or feeling better, then it's just the laziness. So don't get mad and don't get pissy when we call you lazy. All we're doing is pointing out the obvious. You're too lazy to go for a walk. You're too lazy to cook food at home. You're too lazy to clean your own home. You're too lazy to go and wash your fucking face in the morning. So uncomfortable at first. And it's so hard. Like your mind just tricks you into staying the same. It's really messed up. My second Ramadan. Yeah. So I haven't decided. Hi, Riley. I haven't decided on... um be a bio yeah i'm gonna go shopping see if i can find something like else you know other deals i mean i don't know it's wrong there's a lot of deals pretty wrong on do spit spit line <laughs> vitamin d yeah i was seeing a lot so this thing has been coming up on my for you page this 120 million dollar wedding of this like uh indian business indian billionaire's son anant i forget their last name hey meep harry abaya why, yes, I found out by accident the other day. I don't, I still don't know what I did, but while I set up the live stream, um, we were live on both things. And I don't know how I did that. I did it through StreamYard. Like we, I have used StreamYard since the first time I think we ever live streamed. You know what I mean? No fucking clue what I did. Thanks, Moonshine Molly. Um, Lynn, hello. Welcome. Vitamin, you can, probably from sticking your head out the window, yeah. There's our emoji queen, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Always. I'll always upload, like, whatever we do on Twitch, I'll upload the next day on YouTube, always. Unless it's the gaming, because, like, I, I don't want to say who cares, but, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't think of gaming as such a YouTube thing. And then it's, again, the mixing of the worlds. Where would that even go? I'm too stressed out. The games stay here. The reactions will always go to YouTube. Yeah. Brianna performed in Twitch. She twerked. Oh my gosh. You know what? And I heard like they were, I don't know. I don't, I have like my opinions on like billion super billionaires and like if you put all of the billion, even just a couple billionaires together, they could like legit solve all of the, like all of the world's monetary problems. I swear. Like $117 billion to me is like hot on. I don't know. Hi, Elaine. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Everyone has their opinion on that. They do do some nice things, but there's also like some political controversy I read about. But anyway, my point I don't know. When have I ever uploaded at work? I I don't, I can't. Maybe other people can. Point about this wedding is, you know what I would want to do just to troll people if I was a billionaire? I think I would have like the most budget party ever, like a budget, like low budget themed expensive party, like serve everybody like a bunch of wiener, just wieners and like McCain cake. <laughs> would you imagine that. That would be so cool. A billionaire has to do that. You got wieners on the mind and always cake. God damn it. Why was wieners the thing? Because you think about what you can't have. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that's right. Wieners on the mind. Massive wieners on the mind. So making fun of poor people party. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much what it sounded like to me too. And just play like pin the tail on the donkey. I don't know. Hi, Crystal Thomas. A little bit. Thank you, Lynn. You thrifted Louboutins from a thrift store yesterday? Yeah, that's crazy. Like 100, imagine 100. Warren Buffett's a billionaire and still eats that Dairy Queen, which he owns. <laughs> Capri Suns and Pop-Tarts. Hi, Cynthia. It is their money. It's not their responsibility to pay for the world's problems. But Danielle, to me, it's still, it's it's unethical to hoard that much money, in my opinion. Because they could easily give away half and still have, what, $50 billion? $70 billion? Okay, listen, I'm I'm with her on this one. I don't actually have a criticism as to what she's saying. Fucking agreed. But weird to hear this from her. You know what I mean? What the shit is this conversation? You're talking about like excess wealth and stuff. It's it's very strange. Also, very strange coming from somebody who literally fake cried in Cuba about giving their money away. You remember the martyr? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, never gave away a goddamn thing. Couldn't even be fucked to send Lambo that coffee that she had won. But yeah, yeah. Cry and and, and <laughs> tell us now all about the, the wealth, the uneven distribution of wealth, which again, I totally agree with. 
I just don't want to hear her talking about it, you know? Billion dollars, which is still unethical in my opinion. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but uh, have I thought about doing charity? I mean, I'm not a billionaire, right? So I don't have a ton of money to give away. But yeah, I do. When I'm better, I want ruins. I've done a lot of volunteer work in my life. I used to volunteer 40 hours a week when I was well, younger. So when I get to that point, I want to give up myself 100%. And I do give what I can here and there to like some charities for like um, Syrian um, refugee camps. I do give some money. Like we give some money for that. Hi. Show us the receipt. Show us the receipt. And you're damn right. I do feel entitled to ask for the receipt because she was one of the people demanding the receipt for the SPCA donation, which I had no problem, of course, to put up. Of course. So you made demands, then you got the receipt. Show us the receipt. You haven't done shit. Nothing. Nothing. Where do you give here and there? You give to yourself and no one else. You're full of shit. That's absolutely disgusting. And to lie about where you give the money? Oof, oof, oof. You know when I bet they gave money? They gave money last year during Ramadan because that's something that people do. And they probably gave a very, very, very small amount because they're fucking broke as hell too. You know, and this year they'll give even less because they're worse off this year than they were last year. Yeah, they don't give shit to anybody. Hey, no name. How are you? How are you? Good evening. Sound like him. <laughs> Shamrock shake. Ew. Do you feel the same about the Sheikh of Queen? I feel like anybody who hoards that much riches, you know, but I don't know what a lot of them give, you know, so I can't say. I'm just making a point that, you know, imagine, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because like having all that money can change you too. You know, when you don't have much money, you think oh, I would help people if I had money. But then apparently like scientifically, when you have a lot of money, it changes how you think. I would help so many. Why doesn't she have it? You know, she's sitting in one of the richest countries in the world. I'm not trying to start a whole war here in the chat. I'm just going to point out the seemingly obvious point here. And why don't you worry about the country you're sitting in right now? Don't you think it's wrong that one country, one of the Muslim countries would hoard so much wealth when there are others, for example, Yemen, uh, who could use a lot of help from their brothers? Hmm? I don't know. Again, kind of weird watching you sit in the country you're sitting with all of the privilege that you fucking have in one of the richest countries on this planet Earth. Why don't you worry about what they're doing there? Why don't you have any kind of discussion? Are you just going to tell us again what a great guy Saddam Hussein was? You fucking idiot. Yeah, I would like to think I would too. That was just their pre-wedding party. Oh my gosh. Hi, Miss Mary. I'm not hating on anyone. I'm just making an ob observation, you know? I think it's mint, the shamrock, yeah. She helped homeless Julia and Howie. Yes, I took those pets off the streets. <laughs> Not the new wife, the ex-wife. Yeah, I saw that. Jeff Bezos' uh, ex-wife gave away over $16 billion already. And she says she's not done until there's no money left. As long as there's money left, she's going to keep giving it away. There's no such thing as an ethics billionaire. Exactly, Zoe. That's exactly how I feel about it. Yeah. Even in Islam, you know, they believe that, so... <laughs> I have very flexible ethics when it comes to money. <laughs> it's mint. Ah, I'm sure they do help people. They don't. But if you look at the state of India, Danielle, it's there's so many poor people. Meanwhile, the ruler has like billions. You know, to me that's just weird. But I'm not a politician. Hi, living Laura, Vanessa. Thanks. Again, look at the country you're sitting in. Look at the wealth that the Kuwaitis have in that country. They have more than enough money to treat the expats and the, the workers a hell of a lot better than they do, but they don't. But we're not going to talk about that, are we, Chantal? Hey, Cynthia. Thank you. Don't you want to know how it feels to be healthy, slim, and feel free and beautiful? I mean, I don't have, feel like I have to be slim to feel beautiful, but I do want to feel healthy. Maranatha? Yeah, for sure. More than anything. I can't volunteer now, Robin, because I'm like really not healthy. i got to get a little bit healthier. But I was researching different things I can do. Good evening, no name. Welcome to the party. You are priceless, babe. Thanks, babe. The buyers are perfect for hot water because they do. Shut up with that. Oh, I have her on 1.5 speed. I think it's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> um, she's researching things that she can do to like improve her health, make herself feel better. Hasn't gone out today. We were promised a lot of things today. Hasn't gone for that walk. Doesn't do anything that she knows to do that will improve her health. But no, she did a little research about it. <laughs> Get off of your ass. Holy shit. You think no name is D Higgins?
in Chantal's chat like that? Wow. Do you have airflow? Yeah. You can get some or a bias, so I'm, I'm going to get some. Shammy shake season. Yeah, Zoe, I agree. Yeah, that's true, Danielle. You can definitely volunteer if you don't have money. There, I, I don't know if there's thrift shops. Babe, are there shops here in Kuwait where it's like, they have, okay, it's not like a thrift shop. See, it's like a, they have markets and bazaars, huge bazaars where they give away stuff. So yeah, I could take you guys there someday, but it's chaotic. There's a lot of people, you know, kind of hot. Twitch does not have a poo emoji. I am fucking outraged. How could they not? What the hell? <laughs> Twitch is so soft. God damn it. Oh, what happened to our MLM drink? I, that's a good question. <laughs> Unilever. <laughs> Unamate. I think that's what it was called. I don't know. She made one like, a, I want to say about two weeks ago. She started one of her stupid videos like, I'm just going to make myself a cup of Unamate. And she did. And then we haven't heard about it since then. <laughs> loyal Beezers. My loyal Beezers. <laughs> Do I look funny? Cranberries and corn to perform at your wedding. If I could pick people to perform. Oh, the cranberries. Well, I can't now. But yeah, I would. Maybe Bush X. Maybe Silver Chair. Inland Fabric. Oh, cool. Moonshine. Hi, Crystal. Hi. Yeah, such a fool for you. You got me wrapped around your finger. You made the homemade one, Ghostface? Nice. Tracy, member for 27 months. I cannot believe this. Are you sure me these? I think I'm behind. Crystal. 12 months. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Ready, set, rebees, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, God. She is extra annoying tonight. I don't know. There's something about a Wednesday. Eh? You're so deep into the week. And yet so far from a Friday, you fucking, she's harder to like listen to, watch. And I wish she just had the, you know, her little AI cartoon thing up tonight instead of her face. Crystal. Okay, hold on here. No name. Hello. Rachel Bees. Oh my gosh, you gifted 10 members. Thank you, no name. Wow, thank you. Ah, wait a minute, gifting 10 members at a time. Hello, D. Higgins. God damn. Welcome, new Beezers. Who is a new Beezer? No name is a Beezer. Ghostface Gamer. Dear D. Who else? Hi, everyone. Hi, EF. Shakespeare. Yes, thank you for the generosity. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. You want me to go somewhere crowded, Zoe? You'd have a panic attack. I know it. I could try walking, Robin. Crystal. DF. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> Our own poop emoji in the chat will be the uh, salad Mr. Hanky. <laughs> Sarah Jean, Melissa, Crystal. Thank you. Candace, hi. Thanks, no name. <laughs> Chef Pondu. Melly, you gifted two members too? Thank you, Melly. I don't know why I'm seeing all of these things very late. Thank you, Melly. You're so sweet. All of you guys are awesome. Freya, hello. Tango. Fucking shut up. Yeah. Guys. Oh. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Listen, that exactly what we just listened to and that I skipped through is why I don't like, you know, like you start a stream or whatever. Hello, one person. Hello, one person. Hello, one person. God damn it. Just get on with it. Why can't it be a collective hello? A collective hello. It's not about being bitchy. It's not about like not wanting to single anyone out or whatever, but you don't want to sit there for fucking 10 hours. And, Hi, this one. Hi, ghost face gamer. Hi, uh, no, whatever the fuck. D Higgins. <laughs> fucking hell, man. It's so annoying. So much I have to do when I need that. I have to clean out my fridge, which I've been. Like, I mean, not just clean out the food. I mean, like, clean out the shelves. Oh, do you know how hard that is when you have a bad leg? When you have sciatica, back pain, you have to bend and... <sighs> Interesting. Definitely not D. Higgins. It's a slow mama stand. Yeah, you're right. Good point. I had no idea. I, have, I don't know where these people are outside of her chat. Okay. In that case, could it be a pissy poo? Yeah, Lynn, I hear ya. Okay, marbles. No name here is my advice. Be happy and I will be happy for you. Thank you, no name. You're really sweet. I really appreciate that. Or like that fucking <laughs> I appreciate the support. Ooh. 
no, I'm not showing you my fridge, Zoe. You'll barf. No, I'm kidding. It's not that bad. It's ba basically just like there's not even that much in it. <sighs> I'm misbehaving. Yes, babe. Um, but I gotta clean it out. So I'm not showing you. I mean, maybe I could. I don't know. No, I gotta clean it. Eh. I love water. Hi, bun captor. I know a lot of you out there only drink Pepsi. Oh, have a look at this. What is that? Is this a corn? I love water. I know a lot of you out there only drink Pepsi. It's called Coke Zero. Get it right. Okay. And you, I mean, you do drink water. The beatus means you're always chugging something. But if you had an option between the Pepsi and the water, we know you're not touching the water. Stop. And yeah, what is that burn on your finger? What'd you do? What do I need to do? What is it? I just noticed. What the heck is that? What is this? Yeah, you can ask me a question. Hi, Margella. Oh, I gotta do it. A wart. Doesn't hurt. You know I adore your trundle. Thank you, no name. I appreciate that. Who called? Oh, it's a wart. <laughs> it's a wart on the end of her finger. How? I'm sorry, I know nothing about, I always feel so fucking ignorant with this shit, but again, I'm gonna knock wood and say, I guess I'm blessed, I don't know these things. How the fuck do you suddenly get a wart on your finger? I should take this question to Google. Is it gonna gross me out? I feel like the answer might gross me out. How does someone suddenly get a wart on their fingertip? Most forms, however, are spread by casual skin contact or through shared objects such as towels or washcloths. The virus usually spreads through breaks in your skin such as a hangnail or a scrape. Biting your nails, which she does, also can cause warts to spread on your fingertips and around your nails. Oh, what the shit? Oh, uh, from eating poo. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Oh, I knew I wasn't going to be happy when I Googled that one. God damn it. God, oh. Oh. So. Oh. Oh, my God. It could be HPV. You see what happens when you go to Google? Oh, no. This is how people get sick about what they could be or what things could be. And da, da, da. it could be HPV. It could have come from salad. Like, uh, did they like, touch the same towel or something? Oh, my God. What, what is this? I told you a dodo brain. <laughs> I love that dodo brain. Yeah, it's okay, Elle. I have a wart on my finger. There's going to be a troll account. Chantal's wart. <laughs> ah. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I have had a callus. It's, it's like a little callus on my finger from lighters. Lighters, lighters, lighters. And that's when you realize that you can take the safety off of those big lighters. Anyway, it saves your fingers if you're a toker. Here's what it doesn't give you. Anything on your index finger. If you would get that from a lighter, it's on your thumb. That's how you like light the lighter. That's how that repetitive like chick, chick, chick on the lighter. It's your thumb. It's not your index finger. No, 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 no. This is some kind of, I almost called it a herp derp, but it's a, it's a, definitely a wart and not from a lighter. I th first, my first thing was, I thought she burned herself on something, but um, no. Maranatha. Yeah. I think when a lot of people actually like, I get judged a lot, like most of my people who've been in my place, almost like people forget how hard it is, you know? But yeah, I agree. I want to feel better, you know. I didn't. I don't think I pinched my finger. Eh. I gotta get some of that. What's that stuff called? Not preparation age. What is it? Hi intro. I'm fun. Pam. Hi Pam Anderson. I'm going to Disney. Uh, I can't walk around. I have to. Shit. What are the odds? You're like, you know what? This is time. I'm gonna tell my bestie all about my dirtiest, dirtiest secret. You're like, bestie. I have a confession to you. I need to show you something. And you pop Chantala and they're like, oh my God, it's Fody Beauty. You know, that's it. Your friend, soulmates. To get a scooter. Yeah. 
Population H on her ward. What am I doing? Feel better? Not a whole lot. Freeze away. Thanks, Elaine. You, Napalm. I don't know, but trolls say that. Probably not true. Compound W, Rachel. Yeah. Compound W may cause intestinal bleeding or death. You have to cut my nails. <laughs> Just don't look at me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Chris. Oh, God, her fingernails are all, like, nasty and shit, and she got a wart on her finger. Wow. Y'all, do wash your hands. Ah, what the fuck? Imagine doing nothing all day. It's not like she has a job where she's, like, playing in the dirt or something to have filthy fucking hands and nails. Nope. A, a lady of leisure. Nothing to do all day. Filthy hands, warts, nails with, like, crud under them. Ugh. Crystal, it's not good. It's not fun. I don't even know when the last time is I went up a flight of stairs. I take the elevator. <laughs> Dip your finger in cheese in a very good way. It's just a blister. Okay, we'll see if it goes away. WD-40. Carburetor you fluid. Would you he just <laughs> took carburetor fluid and all over the stove. And I start smelling something like strong, like, you know, paint thinner or something. And I was like, what is this? This is some strong stuff. And I saw the, the can. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> the can of carburetor fluid looks like the oven cleaner. Okay. So then I had to spend like legit an hour cleaning off the carburetor fluid. Then I had to clean the whole oven. And so going downstairs is fine. Actually, if you go down too many stairs, don't you feel like you have to try to think of how you're going to, like you lose, like you have to, if you go down too many stairs at once, when you first start going down, it's automatic. You don't have to think about it. But then you're, you have to kind of think about your footing when you do too many of them. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God. This is the first time in her life ever where I'm going to say, I know exactly what she means. And I really thought I was the only one with that. You know, when you're like, let's say, oh, I don't know, you're at the subway in your town or whatever, okay? We call it the metro here. So you're running down the metro stairs and you're going and you're going and like fast to catch the metro, let's say. And it's uh, flight of stairs after flight of stairs. You're really going low underground. At a certain point, it's like, it's like when you repeat a word too many times and it loses all meaning. You know what I mean? It, I don't know. I feel like my legs don't know what to do anymore. And it's like, oh shit. And suddenly you have to like pay attention to the footing when it was just like, as you were doing it before i don't know why that happens to me yeah oh wow i really i thought i was the only one i swear to god you know she's waddling down i okay true kalari true <laughs> that happens to you guys too wow i really thought i was the okay she doesn't know so she heard someone tell this story or something for sure you get dizzy. I don't find I get dizzy, but it's like my feet forget what the fuck they were doing. Or something. <laughs> Suddenly where it's like automatic, it's like um totally involuntary at the top of the flight of the stairs. After a while, it's like, oh shit, suddenly you're really paying attention to every step. You know what I mean? Because like my feet don't work. I don't know. I mean, you got a blister from, oh, from all my gaming. I game with this hand, Capricorn. Oh no, you're right. I game with this one too. <laughs> You get dizzy, yeah. I used to do that when I would visit my grandma. She lived on the fourth floor, but there was like two basement levels, so like six floors, and she would get so mad. She'd be like, "You go in the elevator, I'll come get you. I'm not. You're not going up all those stairs," <laughs> because she thought I would have a heart attack and die. I'm like, I would rather you know go out that way than get stuck in an elevator and go out that way. So, <laughs> ooh, Zach Zoo, that makes a lot of sense. Any new vlogs? Yeah, soon. I have a video probably later, late. <sighs> Go down the stairs sideways? Really? I never tried that. Hi, Ariana. No, she was, it was like, I don't know, two hours ago, maybe. <laughs> it is 118 here. AM. Julia, 220 AM in Dubai. Oh, you guys are an hour ahead. Hey, name Marie. Yeah, we have elevator. Mexico, um, I think is a beautiful country, but I'm honestly afraid of like all the crime from the cartels. I watch horror stories and I don't know if like I would want to risk it just in case. Ignorant. Stupid fucking idiot. She's so goddamn ignorant. Ugh. Everything is one thing. Everything is such a generalization and a, a stereotype for her and stuff. Like, oh, what a fucking idiot. How many people go to Mexico every year? Like, I don't know. <sighs> fucking moron, man. She's so, she's so ignorant. And she sits there calling other people uh, uncultured swine. Stupid. Yeah, corn brain. 
That is beyond corn brain. Imagine sitting there with all that corn brain calling other people uncultured. You know, I don't want to be in one of those films where people get their limbs cut off. Oh, yeah. shut up. That's like my worst fear. Ironically, no, it's not your worst fear. If you were a little more scared about having a limb chopped off, you would take your diabetes a little more seriously. I don't know if it happens, like, but... <sighs> Higher floor, yeah, marbles. Way up. <laughs> oh, really, Danielle? Did I like Cuba? Yeah, I had a good time. I think it's beautiful. The beaches are amazing. I don't know why Loni. Just always is. Barbara, because I'm fat and I'm asthmatic. Really, Julia? You're not you're really 22 years in Dubai? Wow. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's hard. You went down to a cavern. Oh, like a why did you go to a cavern? You're in Kuwait. Bryson's Lab Kuwait is one of the safest places. There's like no, hardly any crime here. Especially. She's on my nerves. I want to skip ahead. You know, anywhere would be the safest place when you never leave the apartment. I'm just saying. Actually, not drug cartels. Oh, shut excuse up. me, miss. Welcome to Very Important Pieces. Ready to these. <laughs> Welcome, excuse me, miss. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What? Uh, no parasocial. <laughs> I have good. Uh, we have good AC. So, did I quit smoking? Yes. Yeah, I remember. She went to the beach twice, and it was because the chat wouldn't stop asking her, like, "Please take us to the beach. Please take us to the beach." Finally, like, gave in. Stay there for five seconds left. Vanessa with the emojis, congratulations for the gifted membership. I'm not healthy right now, Barbara. I hate the springtime changing. Yeah, the one that goes ahead, I always hated that. Hello, Ileana. Hello, Beezer. Look up Avocado Cartel in Mexico, it's wild. Oh, I think I've heard of it, I think. She didn't quit smoking. We heard her secretly, like sneakily vaping yesterday. She's full of shit. Just because she didn't light up the shisha doesn't mean she quit smoking. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, uh, I don't know. But, like, the, the normal people that are not in cartels are nice and, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying everyone is like that, Demio. I'm just saying that I'm afraid of that violence that's there. Like, I don't know. That's just me. Not all Arabs are Muslims, ghost face, but if you look up like Gulf countries, they have low crime rates. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Oh no, you washed puke sheets all day. Oh, do you get used to that? Cause I have like a fear of vomit. I don't know if I could deal with that. <sighs> Violence is everywhere. And again, it, <laughs> alleged, well, allegedly in a country that is one of the wealthiest in the world that does take care of their own citizens, you eliminate a lot of the reason that people commit crimes. Oh, but here's the other thing. They'll deport the shit out of anybody who does anything else. So, yeah. Expats who are treated like shit in Kuwait often, um, they're, they're not going to dare to steal anything or, you know, get caught doing a crime. Put it that way. Nobody would. A Kuwaiti one, an expat one. She's so fucking ignorant about like life and things. Look at Koki, for example. Okay. He's in this country. He stabs two fucking people. He goes to jail for two years minus a day. He's right back in this country. He's got his citizen, or his, not citizenship, uh, residency. And uh, he's just going on living his life. What do you think would have happened to him if he had pulled that crime in Kuwait? Mm hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, Brooke, like, you can't, I'm pretty sure most um, properties have to be owned by Kuwaitis, so. I don't, I don't really care, I don't really, I'm not like, that's not like a priority for me owning a house, you know. I don't really, I don't really want that burden if I want to travel, I don't know. I love rice pudding, yes, I want to. Oh, you don't want the burden of owning a house? No, you don't think you'll live long enough to enjoy, like, the fruits of that labor. 
What's the point of owning a house when you'll never get to enjoy retirement in it? A eh, sugar foot. Makes sense. It's called Rose Halib here. <laughs> Angela, I'm sleeping. Yeah, he's resting. Honest to God, I don't even know uh, how long he would have spent in jail in Kuwait. What I am sure of, though, is that the day he came out of jail, they would have shipped his ass back to Egypt. And that would have been opening a whole other can of worms of problems that he's run away from, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. So it would be pretty much back-to-back -back prison sentences. Fun. Oh, I don't know where he switched, Jerry. I'd have to look into it. I would spread it around, I think. Nothing compared to St. Louis. Yeah, it's Jeffy Walk. Oh, maybe yeah, not Sriracha. <laughs> maybe if you have if you have the money up front, who knows? <laughs> That's a really, really good point, DG. You have two pets. The house is the burden to travel, but not the pets. The ghost face. I just want you well. Thanks, no name. Yeah, I hope so. I'm gonna try to work on it my best. Hello, Michelle. No, tourists that don't serve alcohol here at all, Loni. I think in Dubai, if I'm not mistaken, but here, no. Well, Danielle, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid. Like, I would be afraid to travel to countries with, like, ISIS and stuff like that, for sure. But they, there's not that here, so. Same thing, yeah, I would be, <laughs> 100%. I think anybody would be a little apprehensive, you know? I don't know. There have been, like, um, there was a few, a couple Americans that were kidnapped recently. You didn't hear about that? Spring ahead, fall behind, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Mexico is beautiful and the food and the people seem really nice for sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Whoa, my face. I do hope Well, well, well. Hello there, scat man. You massive puss. Why don't you come on the other side of the camera? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Peace. Babe, it's the ghost of Salah. No, keep the light off, yeah. Mm. No, can I have some water? No. <laughs> okay. From the fridgey fridge. Is that cool? Yeah. Thank you. Can I have some water? Babe, babe, can I have some water from the fridgey fridge? Divorce immediately. Fridgey fridge. 40 years old. D fucking vorse. <laughs> With raisins, yeah, DFS. Mexico's amazing. Maybe I'll go someday, but I don't know. We'll see. That's on the way to Maria, by the way. How should I call you? Anything you want. Hi, Deku. Welcome, Salam. Who's ghost face? Hey, Salah's so ghost. <laughs> Hi, Yasmin. Oops. Salah is gin. Totally? Yeah, that was my other bottle of water. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 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 Turn one light off maybe three thirty two. Yeah. Enjoy beezing. Thank you. Enjoy beezing. Yeah. Salads, a scat man, weird freaking incel who wants to grape women and specifically hates Western women. Hadi ho beezers. Don't think we're ever gonna forget. You can stay off camera until the end of time. The day you pop on, bitch. All the poop jokes. All the grape comments. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Angela, no, I didn't. Thanks, Cynthia. <sighs> yeah. I'm afraid to go to like places when I hear that there's been an incident. Like even Dominican Republic, like there was some, remember there was like that big thing where like people were dying mysteriously, maybe from something poisoning and alcohol or something. I don't know. Well, why would it affect you? You don't drink anymore, right? <laughs> Cosplayer. <laughs> Whatever happens then the alcohol shouldn't affect your life anymore. Oh, wait. Nothing against the country. <laughs> Even the Canadian travel websites say, like, they tell you based on the region if you should travel or not. So they're racist or what because of that? Like, no. Are there challenges to be a mixed weight couple? People judging, Kelly, but other than that, no. 
Oh, really? Steffi Wah? Cool. Don't say that when my daughter's there. Oh, yeah, creepy. Sorry. <laughs> I think it's fine now. Is Julia still enjoying her takeout bag? Yep. I still have it here. She sleeps in it regularly. I can't get rid of it now because of that. <sighs> you know? <sighs> Man, this is so dry. Yeah, Lynn, I hear you. Welcome back. Nassau is nice, Bahamas. There's a lot of sharks. See, I'm scared to go there because of sharks. <laughs> uh, sweet kitty. <sighs> I can't stay on long tonight because I have to clean my kitchen. Like, I have to. Ramadan is coming soon, and I got to set it up really well. I haven't gone through my cupboards, like, properly at the back of the cupboards. I'm short. I take a spoon and like move everything out. And you've only lived there for like less than a year. What do you mean getting into the back of the cupboards? You shouldn't even have shit in the back of the cupboards yet. Am I nuts? In my opinion, you have to. I don't know. You want to see? Whoa, God! What's been back there for a couple of years? Let me get into the back of them cupboards. You have to have lived in a place long enough to do that kind of thing. Shh. Chantal, you know exactly what's in the back of those cupboards. You, you keep a, a, like a mental stock of every morsel of food that's in that apartment. Stop it. In like a while, like from before Canada. So I don't know what's lurking up there. <laughs> Probably some old flour and baking powder. Live stream my kitchen. Since before Canada was literally what, like end of November. <laughs> We're only at the beginning of March. Oh God, what could be up in the back of those cupboards? Hi, Joanne. Thank you. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> hey, Salad, why don't you go start fucking around with another Beezer or something? Go, go keep yourself busy, okay? <laughs> fucking idiot comes out with stupid shit. These losers are pushing 40 for fuck's sake. Oh my God, I can't. We have to bully him further away from the internet. They're getting a little comfortable. And I, you know what? I, I don't want to hear his fucking voice. I don't want to hear. <laughs> no, no. Oh no. How do we make things worse? How do we, <laughs> how do we make him uh, take a couple of steps back again? Huh? He didn't step in, say a word, or flinch when his fake wife was getting kicked by that camel. But now he's all Heidi Ho Beezers again? No, nah, I don't want it. My favorite part is the guys! Do you think we can listen to the radio? <laughs> radio? <laughs> his face was like pure joy when he was coming to troll. <laughs> Film organized in the kitchen. You cannot drink dirt water during the day in Ramadan, no. <laughs> so fail. Rip ears. You swam with sharks and they didn't nibble on your toes? Yeah, I'm going to fast for Ramadan. Oh, if she's going to try and fast for Ramadan, we're getting hella rage streams. Woo! Ghost face. I look like ghost face right now. I didn't feel like putting on a proper hijab, so I just put my hoodie, which is fine. A lot of hijabis do it. Sometimes hijabis just grab a blanket when they go to the door. I'm like, <laughs> go like this. You just have to cover yourself. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> Laughter is the medicine. Yeah, I'm planning on cooking a lot for Ramadan. Making different staples. You guys will see. Yeah, sure. Oh, I love cold water. You're going to be cooking a lot for Ramadan. Shh. You're going to do massive grocery hauls. All the stuff's going to go in the garbage except for the 69 chocolate bars. Yay! I love dolphins. You're not a chicken. Potato face. <laughs> Melissa, watch you for a few years and I'll put you first. Thank you, Melissa, for the super chat. Yes, I will for sure. Thank you so much. Thanks, DFS, for being here. Um, Grace, if you have like a medical reason you need to drink, you can. Thanks, Nicolina. Hoodies are fine, yeah. Hi, Susu. Please do rough face. Never do it without water. I know. You think you're allowed to put water in your mouth and spit it out if your mouth gets dry. Um, it's hard. I'm not going to lie. What? I swear to God, I've never heard that before. Now, I'm not Muslim. <laughs> I have never heard you can just swoosh some water around in your mouth. No. 
No, 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 no. I've, I work with like hella Muslims and stuff. I have never seen anybody take a sip, like a, like a mouthful of water and spit it out during Ramadan ever, 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 ever. I don't know if this is true or if she's just speaking out of her ass right now. I'm going to lie, but that's, it's very important, important to, so like, before you start fasting, you have to start fasting when Fajr comes, which is like around 6 a.m. or close to that, five something between, I don't know, I don't know what time, depends. During Ramadan, I don't know what time it will be. But um, you have to like make sure your suhoor, it's like your breakfast before Fajr. Um, so typically routine-wise, you would get up at like 4 a.m., pray to Hajj. Oh, hold on, hold on, I just Googled it. Hold on, she gives half of the information based on what Google just told me. You can't just willy nilly. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let me clean, like, a uh, put a little water in my mouth and spit it out. Or, like, it's literally to rinse out your mouth to do prayer. It is part of wudu, even if it's Ramadan. Okay. But the way she said that implied to me, anyway, that, like, oh, if your mouth is dry, you can just swoosh a little water around up in there. No, 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 no. It says specifically for praying. Tahajud, then like prepare suhoor, the meal, and have something with like a lot of hydrating food, like, you know, cucumbers, hydrating fruit, maybe watermelon, um, drink a lot of water, <laughs> you know, don't eat salty, fatty stuff that will like make you thirsty. No gum, no. Um, and then you're, you're okay. You, you, you get, you know, you kind of just, I don't know, it's, it's not as bad as it seems. But yeah, people don't really typically hang out outside Robin in the summer. And it won't be that hot till after Ramadan this year, I don't think. If you would feel very sick and you would get sick, then you 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 can I, you'd be permitted to break the fast. If you if you feel okay, like you could go on, then that's when you have to endure it and, and persist. Uh, Angela, <laughs> he's in his uh, PJs. Let's just say <laughs> his sleeping attire. Sleep all day, bees all night. embarrassing oh shut up <laughs> Fucking hell. oh yeah that is the excuse she'll be using to eat yeah uh -huh, i just i don't feel well oh but yeah you don't feel well you're encouraged to eat and drink you uh like i don't know they say if you puke you've broken the fast but i've heard of people even if you're just spitting up some like phlegm oh some people will be like that said i broke my fast and they'll go and eat she's a diabetic she, you know, in theory, shouldn't deny herself drink. She shouldn't deny herself food. Diabetics are not necessarily supposed to participate in fasting, for fuck's sake. She's, uh, I don't know, a death fat fasting. I, listen, listen, I think this is all irrelevant anyway, because whether she's, she's going to tell us she's fasting. I don't believe that she's fasting. I think she's already snuck little packs of Doritos and stuff into her fupa folds. They're all just sitting in their little hiding spots waiting for Ramadan. She's going to push out where he's not around and stuff. I don't believe it. All night. You know, you have to get presentable. Like, no, I don't care about that. Some people do. To go on cam. Please check with your doctor before fasting. I know that face didn't just say you have to be presentable before going on cam. Chantal, look at you. <laughs> I know you're looking at you because you spent half the stream I'd fucking yourself. Look, I fuck yourself right now, okay? You're talking about looking presentable to go on stream? <laughs> Could you maybe clean your face then before you do, uh, lunatic? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's hard to do, but I feel better, excuse me, when I do it. You know, like that empty stomach feeling <laughs> before you pick out because you're starving? Yeah, that's okay, Grace. You're Chantal, when is the last time you have felt hunger? Right before you pig out because you're starving? When's the last time you have felt mild hunger, let alone starving? Shh. Welcome. For someone who does manual labor, yeah, maybe they're excused. It depends. It depends, you know? It's a personal choice between everybody. But you cannot be caught, like, you, you cannot be eating and drinking in public during fasting hours. No. People who do manual labor, if they're still physically capable of doing it, they fast. I work with people who do manual labor all day. They Ramadan, okay? But let me tell you something else that happens. I don't know, but I have noticed 
that every year during Ramadan, they fight with each other, the people who are fasting. And normally, everybody, like, they, they really get along. It's a lot of good friendships in the place I work at, right? They fight every year during Ramadan, a million little fights, because everybody is hangry. Everybody is thirsty as shit. You're, st you're like, in a workplace where everybody's got massive water bottles going all day and shit, drinking, drinking coffees, da, 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 and you can't, right? And most of them smoke cigarettes. And when you're fasting, you can't have a cigarette either. So in those high tension moments, you can't even go out for a smoke to like cut the tension. They fight. <laughs> Am I getting that right, babe? If you get seen, I'll probably get asked about it. I don't feel better without water, no. <laughs> I love water. This is my fifth bottle. Hey, there. You want to hear the second most annoying sound in the world? Sure. Oh my God. I'm skipping ahead. I can't stand this motherfucker. Stay gone, scat man. No, go say you can't. Babe, what age do, do uh, children start fasting? After puberty? What? What age do children start fasting? Uh, it's like uh, from... Uh, puberty? From what thing? Oh, yeah? Yep. Oh, wow, young. Hi, Jamie and Camilla and Energy Egg. Lazy. They chop off your drinking him. Can you explain where the Miriam name came from? It's my Muslim name, Amy, when I took my Shahada. Your rice portioning under control. The reaction channels are going to be going crazy about Salah not being in his own apartment. <laughs> Time to go home, babe. Pack your bags. <laughs> God, it's not a funny joke. <laughs> Shh. Time to go home, babe. Like, Chantal, we don't care. We don't fucking care. This is so stupid. Oh, no, I really don't want him coming around again. I forgot how annoying he was in all this time away. Honestly, just hearing his voice tonight is making me sick. No, I'm being fine. Binging during Ramadan? Um, it has happened, but, like, after, like, during Iftar, I've eaten a lot. You can be medically exempt from fasting, Danielle, yeah. You're watching your cats. Five cats? <laughs> Seven cats? How's that going creepy? Hold hold on. Hold on. She's on medications now. She's been taking the antidepressants. And she's what's the other one she's taking? Y'all said it the other night. Is it for the sciatica? For the death fat? I don't even remember. Y'all just said a name. I didn't know what it was about. But in theory, if she has to take those meds during the day, I met Foreman, thank you. Um, if you have to take that during the day, you broke the fast. If you take a medication, there's no there's no fasting after that. The fast is broken. Viagra, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, gallbladder surgery, Candace? It's not bad if they're doing laparoscopic. Okay, I got to get out of here because I have to do some things. So stay tuned for a video and possibly later for a, um, a Twitch stream. My Twitch is Miriam. Miriam, can you put the Twitch in the, in the chat for me, please? Yalla. Yalla. Yalla, yalla. What is Susmir? Warning, warning. Thanks, Sunny Lee. Do you ever miss driving in fast food? Thanks, Dirty, Dirty. No, I hated those feelings. I hated that. I do miss Nashi so bad. Thanks, Creepy. If you have to eat Alpha, then you can eat, yeah. This is the Nashi. Nashi is the most disgusting thing I've ever tried. It's the worst fast food burger of life. Fuck. Take a chicken burger and dip it into hot oil. The whole thing smells like, like heartburn. It's disgusting. You miss the driving? So how are you packing yet? <laughs> to move where? To go to your apartment. My third one or my fourth one? Just the third one. Okay. He has one in every province here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I hate him. <laughs> We're gonna have to come up with a plan how how we can get him, you know, two steps back again. Don't feel so comfortable. Don't don't be making your little jokes. I also find it insanely inappropriate for a man who just got caught in the whole scat scenario to be making jokes about like second wives and third apartments and stuff like what are you doing salad 
you got to be trolling. <laughs> By the way, Anashi, let me tell you why it's amazing, okay? They have a chicken patty, which is all white breast meat, never any hard things in it. Never grizzle, just perfect meat, okay, guys? Then it's fried to crisp perfection and dipped in the most delicious Anashi sauce I ever had, okay? And it's just the right amount of spicy. And then the brioche bun is like soft and sweet, a little bit sweet, like brioche is. And they put mayo, and Burger King mayo is amazing. It's tangy and salty. And then the Burger King... Burger King mayo is amazing. Oh, I hate my life. I'm questioning everything. Why, why do we watch this bitch? Burger King mayo is amazing? Does anyone else hate themselves in this moment? Or is it just me? Suddenly, oh my God, sometimes she'll say something that makes you like snap out of it or something. Burger King mayo is amazing. And her eyes roll back like, oh my God. King pickles, in my opinion, are the best fast food pickles ever. Wendy's is the least best, but yeah. So the Nashi is amazing, but I am boycotting Burger King. Bailey Brock, welcome to Van Horn Peters. Where should be? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever meet anyone weird as me before you met me? <laughs> no, right, babe? Please start driving around with a baby car seat in your backseat just to mess with people. <laughs> babe, good idea. <laughs> we should what? get a, you know, like those little seats that they put babies in in the backseat of cars? Mm -hmm. We should get one just to mess with people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and put Julia, put Julia in it. Blood. And how we have. Okay, okay, okay. Get, get off of my screen before I break my computer. How does that mess with people? Oh, warning cat content incoming. Well, perfect time to have fucked off, eh? <laughs> How does putting a car seat in the back of your car mess with people? Or are you trying to justify the death fatness? They People will see the empty car seat and be like, oh, okay, she's pregnant. With like 17 kids. She's the octo mom. Who was bigger? Who had a bigger barrel gunt? Octomom or Chantal? I'm going to have to make a comparison photo. I need it to be sized. How do you even get the right size? Chantal's head's so big. How do you know when it's like... I will figure it out. You think it's Chantal? I'm going to have that picture for us the next time we go live on this channel. Octomom's barrel gun was smaller. Okay. Wow. <laughs>